What's going on guys, this is me Chimpanz that 45 and I'm here today with the next episode of my best rest series which today is going to be on the QPR left midfielder Junior Hoyler. So let's have a look at his stats on his card. They are 91 pace, 72 shooting, 70 passing, 80 dribbling, 44 defending and 68 heading. And if we have a look through some of his cards on the market you can see that they go for around 800 to 1,100 coins. Somebody is very optimistic and is trying to sell him for 3,000. That's not going to happen. So his in-game stats on the whole are actually pretty average, but there are some that stand out to me. Finishing at 79, I just cannot believe that they've got that at 79. It should be so much uh, so much higher because if you have a look at some of these clips his finishing is actually brilliant look at that for an, a finesse shot yes it comes off the post but it's a brilliant finish so the main advantage of Junior Hoyler has to be his pace he is just so so quick 91 pace if you can keep him topped up with fitness cards every four or five games then you should be able to use him to his full extent because obviously with that pace stat and his acceleration at 90, his pace is his main weapon. He can beat defenders easily. He's got a high attacking work rate, unsurprisingly. And he can just skin defenders. Absolutely skin them. If he has open space, which in most of these clips he does, he is deadly. And his shot, as I said, with 79 finishing, is actually really, really underrated. As you can see in some of the clips already, and as you will see in some of the other clips, his shot is just brilliant. It really is brilliant. There's no other way to put it. And I'm really surprised that it's only 79. Once again here, he gets past the defender. And he just, you know, he can just do anything. Once he's past the defender, he can lay it into another striker. He can pick, up, he can pick it up. And he can carry it. And he can play it out wide as he does there. That's a brilliant pass. He can do everything with the ball at his feet once he beats the defender. Of course, there are times when he doesn't beat the defender. And that might be a slight disadvantage. In fact, it is a slight disadvantage. But once he does beat the defender, he is so, so dangerous. Yes, granted, he's probably a bit OP, but look at this for a shot. That is exactly what I'm talking about. He's just so underrated, it's unreal. I would 100% advise getting him. He is an absolutely brilliant player. And with uh, with his stats, people think, oh, he's all right. But when you use him in-game, he is brilliant. Trust me, he really is. His finesse shots are good. His shooting on the whole is good. All right, he only has a medium uh, defensive work rate. And he, he actually, <laughs> strangely, has a trait of arguing with the officials, but definitely worth guessing. So his positives are great pace, strong shot, and he can easily beat defenders. Bit poor defensively, that's the only negative that I can think of. So his average price is uh, 800 to 1,100, worth guessing 9 or 10 out of 10. I would 100% advise getting him really underrated player, and uh, definitely one of the best of the rest. So any suggestions, leave a comment. I'm going to be doing... One of the players that was left in the comment section of the last video in the next episode. Follow me on Twitter at Arsenal for a line. Like, comment, and subscribe, and that would be brilliant. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Jim Pazza, that 45, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.